problem 1 using tens complement subtract uh, two decimal numbers these numbers of base 10 so here m represents the first number the minimum and n represents the second number the subtrahend so both numbers must must have same number of digits so i use i put a zero in front of the second number so now these two numbers will have same number of digits and the negative and the complements are used to represent negative numbers so we always use complements to represent negative numbers so this number this number here can be written in this way so this is m and n so m minus n can be written as m plus minus of n so both are same so this can be written like this so now this number becomes the negative number so we have to represent this number in a complement form so we have to first find the complement of this number the n we have to find the complement then we have to add this m and the complement of this number we we have to add these two numbers so in a digital system we use complements for negative numbers so first we are finding the tens complement of this number so uh, tens complement the formula is r power n minus n so here the base is 10 and the power is the number of digits in this number is in both the number the number of digit is 5 so 10 power 5 minus so we are going to find the uh, complement for this number so minus n so when you solve this you get this as the answer so this is the tens complement of this number so next step is to add this number the m and the tens complement of this number we have to add now so m is 72532 so next we are going to add that m with the tens complement of n so m is added with the tens complement of this n so you get this is the tens complement so you are going to add now both so when you add both so you get this as the answer that is 2 plus 0 is 2 2 plus 0 is 2 3 plus 5 is 8 5 plus 7 is uh, 12 so 2 you put here and put a uh, you'll put a carry here one here so so carry will come here then 6 plus 2 plus uh, 1 is uh, 9 then 7 plus 9 is 16 you get so here this this one is the end is the is the carry end carry here because 7 plus 9 will give you 16 so 6 will come and 1 will be the carry now so this uh, this six, 1 is the end carry so you have to discard this carry you have to discard the carry so the answer will be if carry uh, the, the meaning the, the, if there is a carry means the meaning is m is the m is greater than or equal to n so this is the meaning of if you get a, a carry here if you get a n carry the meaning is the number m is greater than or equal to n so the answer will be a positive number so you discard this one and the, the rest will be the the answer so the answer is it's a positive since uh, m is uh, greater than n and you are discard so you get a carry so you discard it so you get a positive answer the rest is the this is the answer problem 2 using tens complement subtract these two decimal number it's of base 10 
so from here you get m and n m is the minuend the first number and n is the subtrahend the second number next the this subtraction uh, statement can be written as so m minus n is equal to m plus minus n so now this number becomes a negative number so we have to find the complement of this number so complements in digits system complements are used for used to represent negative numbers so the next the tens complement of this number is the formula is r power n minus n that is equal to the base is 10 so 10 power 5 the number of digit is 5 minus n so when you solve this you get this as the answer so this is the tens complement of this number next we have to add this number with m so m is this and the tens complement of n is this so we add when we add these two we get this number here we don't have any end carry since we don't have any end carry we know we can understand that m is less than n so we get a the answer will be a negative number since no end carry the answer the final answer we will get will be a negative number so next what we have to do is to get to obtain the answer now the answer is this we after doing this uh, after doing this addition we get this so to obtain the answer in a familiar form we have to again take the uh, tens complement of this sum and we have to place a negative sign in front of that so the next step will be as i said we have to find the tens complement of this number to get the answer in a familiar form that we can understand so and place a negative sign in front of that so the, when we solve find the tens complement the next step will be this when we solve this we'll get the answer so this is the answer problem 3 using nines complement subtract these two decimal number so you get m m as the minuend the first number n as the subtrahend the second number this subtraction sentence can be written as so the m minus n is equal to m plus minus n so this is the negative number so we have to find the complement of this number so the nines complement of this number is so since uh, this is a five digit number and you are finding the nines complement so you write five nines minus zero three two five zero uh, this is n n so next when you solve this you get this is the answer next you have to add this uh, nines complement a uh, number of the uh, of n with the m you have to add so you will get so when you add these two you get the answer this so here this is the end carry so we, we know it is a positive you, the answer will be a positive number since you get a end carry you know that m is greater than or equal to n so you get a positive number as the answer um, so here this end carry what should you do is in tens complement you will discard this end carry but in nines complement method we have to bring this end carry down here so the end carry is is bought here so now you will add this end carry that is brought down here with this number so this process of bringing this end carry down and adding with this number 
is called the end around uh, carry so here so you get the answer so after adding this one with this you get this as the answer now so here what should you do is now the answer is positive now because since you got a end carry the answer will be a positive one so the answer will be this this is the answer problem 4 using nines complement subtract two decimal number so you get m and n next you can you can rewrite this uh, subtraction sentence in this way so you can write it as m plus minus n so this is the negative number you have to find the nines complement of this number so the nines complement of this number is obtained in this way so when you solve this you get this as the answer so this is the nines complement now you have to add this number with the m so when you add this two numbers you get the answer this so here there is no end carry so the meaning is you get a you uh, it's a, the answer is a negative number and also we know that since there is no end carry m is less than n so what you should do next is you have to uh, find the nines complement of this number since no end carry the you have to put in the answer you have to put a minus because m is less than n there is no end carry so m is less than n so you have to put a minus in front of the answer and then you have to find the nines complement of this number so the nines complement of the number is this and when you solve this the final answer will be minus since a minus here you put a minus then the nines complement so this is the answer